Welcome to Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. I'm Jessie, and I'm making a gluten-free pecan pie. I'm going to start out making the crust. Gluten-free flour, a little salt, butter, and some ice-cold water. I'm going to use a pastry cutter to cut the butter into the flour, just like I would a regular all-purpose flour. And I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of the ice cold water to help the mixture come together. Put in a little bit of water at a time and keep adding until you get it to the right consistency. Work the dough a little, getting the butter blended into the flour. And to keep working it until it starts to form a ball. When you start out, you want the butter to be cold and the water to be cold. Sometimes I blend in a little sugar into the pie crust also. Mixing the dough with the pastry cutter until it forms a ball I'm going to turn it on to a lightly floured surface. And add a little more flour over the top to where it's easy to roll out. When you're rolling out a gluten-free pie crust, it's so much different than a regular pie crust. The gluten's not there to hold everything together, and so it'll break apart easily. You just have to keep trying and keep piecing it together until you get it large enough. I'm going to roll it over the top of the rolling pin and then roll it into the pie pan. And without it sticking together with the gluten, you just kind of have to work with it, manage it, pat it into the pan until it's as well put together as you can get it. Pat it and form it and keep it as even as possible. I try to really work around the edges to make sure that the edges aren't too thick. You want a thin, even pie crust with no holes. And I just pinch the sides just to kind of give it a fluted edge. I always feel like this makes it hold to the pan better. Pat it out and fill in any low spots or holes. You can always add a little more flour if something's too sticky. That's all ready to go. I'm gonna set it aside and make the pie filling. You don't have to use a mixer to put this together. It's very easy. Eggs, corn syrup, and I have substituted corn syrup with maple syrup before, and that turned out really good. So I'm hoping to post another video for that soon. Add in some sugar, vanilla, melted butter, just mix it all together until it's well blended and you can just do this with a whisk and of course I'd like to add in a little sea salt. Get everything nice and combined and then add in the pecans. There are over 500 different varieties of pecans. I've probably tried about 20 different varieties and they're all good. <laughs> Get the filling into the pie pan, and I'd like to kind of go through and turn the pecans right side up if I can. Get it into the oven. It turned out to be a really good pie. The first slice that I tried, it was still warm, and I tasted a little bit of the rice in the crust. But when the pie cooled down, it was just like a regular pie. It was very good. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share this with your friends and family. We're always creating great new recipes at Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen.